Hi friends, today I'm going to show you how I make my uh, quarter square or hourglass block four at a time. And this is what mine looks like. And um, I do this just cutting four square um, pieces of fabrics and then um, placing it and then sewing them. I will show you how I do mine. Maybe you can. Maybe this is something that you would like to incorporate in in your sewing room to make time, to make things faster, or to make it easier for you in case you um, would like to do this. This will cut down some time on cutting multiple fabrics. Um, let me show you. So here are my four fabrics right here. These are four squares. Okay that I'm going to use. So I have this two. Oh. So I have this two right here are the same. And then this one is different. And then this is your white fabric. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this two together and then we're going to put this two together, right sides together. Okay, we're going to put right sides together. We are going to sew a quarter inch here and a quarter inch from here. So in the middle, when you cut down, you'll have a quarter inch seam. And then we're gonna come around one more time and sew on the other side, right? And then come to the other side and sew. Okay, we're going to cut down the middle right here. Cut down the middle right here, okay? I'm not using a rotary cutter, I'm just straight cutting it. So we have two pieces right there. Okay. So we have four pieces of fabric right here. Okay. Let me not confuse you. Four pieces of fabric right here. Okay. What we're going to do is press this to the uh, dark to the green. And I'm going to press this to the green and press to the green. Okay, now I have these two pieces that look exactly the same. And I have this two right here that look exactly the same. Okay, so what we're going to do now is take this right here, flip it, make sure your color that is the same are not matching, are not in the same place. So you're going to put your opposite fabric together and make sure they are flipped. Just like this. I'm going to look under to make sure it's lined and I'm going to pin them in place, okay? Flip it this way, make sure it's in place and flip them in place. And we're going to do this, this, we're going to do this the exact same way. Flip this, put the same color opposite from the other one, okay? Make sure they're in place like that. Pin them in place. Make sure I'm going to flip this around. Pin them in place. And so, don't worry if it doesn't exactly match like right here. By the time we trim it down to the right size, it will be okay. And I'm going to sew a quarter inch apart. 
trying to make sure that they are in, they are together in place. Yep. I'm going to sew them one at a time so you can see. Okay, so this is sewn. We're going to sew this one next. So see how the, the teal is with the white, and then on this side, the teal is with the, um, with the fairy dust. Okay, and we're gonna come around one more time. So it. Now what we're gonna do on this one is snip down the middle. The same thing with this, we're gonna snip down the middle, okay? So, I'm gonna cut it. Now that all four of them are sewn, I'm going to open it up. See that? Quarter square. Quarter square. So we have four quarter square at the same time. Okay. Now all you're going to do is trim them to whatever size is required. I'm going to press it and I will bring it back to show you what they look like. So you have one, two, three, four. Done. Okay. This is how I make my four at a time quarter square now the only thing you're going to be doing is centering it to whatever the pattern calls for so I'm going to show you how I trim down to whatever the pattern calls for now I'm going to um, this is a rotating mat right here makes it easy for me to do this is inexpensive I think I got this from Joanne Walmart carries it they're in it I mean they don't you don't have to have a high-end one this is not very high-end it does whatever I need so and if you don't have one you just use your mat and just kind of like rotate your I mean move your body accordingly so I just wanted to let you know let me trim this so you can see so what I'm doing now is I have my ruler the line is directly on my seam line and then the half point is dead center in the middle okay it's dead center just like that and what i'm going to do is just trim around like that i'm going to move my mat put it in place half and then trim I was been a little generous with the fabric here but you don't have to so that's cut in place so I have my quarter square cut to size that I need and I'm going to cut all four of them and show you an example of what I'm trying to say. Okay, I'm cutting. I'm not moving my ruler. I'm rotating my mat just like this. Trim, trim. Rotate my mat, right? Trim some more. Cut. Rotate.
and cut. To show you what I mean, I want to make sense of what I'm saying to you. I have here the same size as my quarter square triangles. So when you're making quarter square and you want them to meet, you will put your fabric like this, right? The bottom part, you put your fabric like that and like that. And there you go, you have your quarter square triangle. This method is also better known as the hourglass block. So I hope this has helped you. Um, this is how I do it so I can just kind of um, minimize cutting like eight different fabrics. I just cut four square. Um, if you know you're gonna have two of this right here, you're going to cut two square and then one square and then one square to get this look. Now, if you're cutting, if you want this two to be the same and then this two to be the same, you're going to cut two each. So I hope this has helped you. Now, if your um, hourglass or quarter square triangle, hourglass and quarter square triangles are the same thing. People refer to them differently, but to me, they're the same thing. Um, so if you're going to, let's say, for example, you need a six and a half inch quarter square or hourglass square, right? You're going, what I do is I, I cut my fabric two and a half, like two inches bigger, meaning that I will cut at a eight or eight and a half ish, um, square by the time you sew your um quarter inch allowance you're going to get down to that six and a half with the trimming and everything that will give you room to be able to trim down on your fabric now i was a little generous with my fabric i cut a nine um nine and a quarter because i want to make sure that even if I sew wrong or do something goes wrong, that I will still be able to get to that six and a half. I was a little too generous, but all you really need is to cut about eight and a half inch um, squares, just four squares to make it. And this is what this is the way I have done it, and it is near perfect. So um, I hope this helped a little bit. 